Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to set up the Google Authenticator, the Chrome extension. Uh, but before we go ahead on that, what is the Google Authenticator? The Google Authenticator Chrome extension is actually a browser-based tool that provides two-factor authentication codes for online accounts. We are going to see how to use this. This is actually uh, an alternative to the Google Authenticator app that you can install on your mobile device. I will recommend you have this one on the browser because you will then always move along with, right? So the factor authentication, the two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second verification step. Normally, uh, you always use just a username and password, but with the two-factor authentication, you require to type in some codes before you can go ahead and sign into your account so let's go ahead and see how to do that i have here on the google search engine already so i can go and search your google authenticator chrome extension right um that's already i have google authenticators chrome extension the first option here authenticator chrome web store that's what we are looking for so i'm going to click on that and then it's going to give me a display here of how the authenticator will look like. There's also a warning message here in yellow saying back of your secrets, don't wait until it's too late. I'm going to show to you how to do that as we are setting up the authenticator. So the first thing you should do is click on the blue icon here, add to Chrome. It's going to give you a message will pop up, add authenticator cancel or add extension we want to add the extension so i'm going to ahead and click add extension and once i do that i will notice something comes up here authenticator has been added to chrome manage your extensions by clicking and extensions in the two uh, the tool menu right so we are going to get there but i just want you to observe once you have this page it means the authenticator has been installed but watch this warning message reinstalling authenticator will clear your data never reinstall authenticator to fix any issues so keep this in mind once you install the authenticator make sure that you are always going to have the necessary information to access it never reinstall it because if you reinstall it you are going to clear your data right so make sure you have that in mind you can come here to read what the authentication so it's about but i've just introduced you to that but now that we we have that installed the next thing is to go to the extension icon here if you notice if i move to the top right of the browser i have the extension icon if i click on that i see authenticator right and then i'm going to click here i'm going to have it come up just like we saw on the screen earlier Right, so we have successfully installed it, Authenticator. Now we need to set it up. By We're going to set up backup, and then we're going to set up security, as well as ensuring that the backups are encrypt encrypted. So how do I get to the settings bar? If you looked at, at the top left side of your Authenticator, there's a settings bar here. If you click on it, you can then go ahead and click on backup. You see warning message, all backups are unencrypted. Do you want to add an account? Want to add an account to another app? So I'm going to pick in the Google Drive. This is where I want my backups, my, my codes that I'm going to generate later to be stored, right? Where the backup will be. So I'm going to click on Google Drive. I'm going to have a pop-up window here. All I need to do is click on allow. Now, once that goes off, I'm going to go back and open the Authenticator by going to Extensions, Authenticator, Settings. I'm coming to Backup again. I'll click on Google Drive again, and now it's going to ask me to sign in. I'm going to click on Sign In. It's going to ask me to choose an account. I'm using Google here. This is the account I created to use for this demo. I'm going to click to use that. It's going to give me a 
authentication back of once access to your account all i need to do is continue like i'm confirming when i click on continue and then i'm going to come back to this window and if i click on sign in it should have signed to my account but then the authenticator disappears all i need to do is go back to the extensions again go to the authenticator come to settings backup google drive and now it shows that we found cloud labs at gmail actually is locked in this also means that any codes that you generate on the authenticator are now being backed up on the google drive but there is a warning message here backups are unencrypted use at your own risk now we need to ensure that our codes are are, are encrypted you can also decide not to encrypt your codes but that's not advisable as you see it's on your own risk but how do you secure or have those encrypted not difficult just close your window come back to settings at any point if you don't if you lose your authenticator don't panic just come back to the extensions authenticator open back the settings bar this time we want security i'm going to set the password and what i want to emphasize is make sure that you never forget this password so either you write the password and send it to yourself by email where you can always have access uh, that could be one option or do what you have to do to ensure you never forget the password so i'm typing a password that i'm 100 percent sure i'll never forget and i'm also going to send it by email to myself because at times there are just so many passwords that, and you always forget so i'm going to send this one by email and give it the name google authenticator app so i'm going to click on ok and then i have here success right so i've successfully uh, created uh, security for this authenticator i'm going to go back and i'm coming back to settings i'll click now backup i'll come to google drive and you see i have now an option if i want to encrypt the backups earlier on i didn't have that but since i've created a security passcode i can click on yes and then go ahead and verify that backups now will always be encrypted so this is how you set up the google authenticator on the chrome browser right we are going to see how to use this going forward live productions or in work you normally don't send passwords to you by email right you should use the different tools that are available at work each time to set up your password but that was it for the authenticator so good luck see you in the next video where we are going to use this when we have set up our aws account bye for now